Huh? Hanging a painting in the lair was my idea. So why don't you keep your splattering and let someone with taste do the job? You have taste? A colorblind mole would know more about painting than you. Uh, guys, no need to fight. Why don't you both hang your paintings in one of the lair's corners? Good idea! Poor old Bob. When your poor little scribbles stand next to the work of art I found, it will look ridiculous. <laughs> You must be joking, Al. You know nothing about art. Nothing! As for tigers, the arts we prefer are martial arts. Banzai! <laughs> Miguel Thump is art? So... so... Miguel is artist? Thumpy, Thumpy, Thumpy! Duty calls, my friends. The Jungle Bunch... <gasps> to the rescue! <laughs> Move over, Bob. My painting will go there. No, mine will. So you move over. Excuse me, guys. I'd like to open the door. <laughs> open. Oh, hello, Salvador. What brings you here? It's a catastrophe. A terrible, terrible thing has happened. It's the apocalypse, Maurizio. My best of painting was just stolen. <laughs> The tortured artist. They're sensitive little things. Uh, can you tell us a little more? Admire this masterpiece, Bob. Ta-da! The melting mango. Huh? Ah -ha! My painting! Wait a second. It's the same as mine. <laughs> a copy of my painting. And to think I had to come to you for help. And all that time, you were the thieves. You, the jungle bunch. Ah, everything's clear now. You make a secret copies of my work. You're just a common counterfeiters. This is outrageous. Come on, Salvador. We would never do that. Yeah, it's that vulture Hercule that played us for a bunch of fools. When I went to take some paint to his art gallery, he promised me this painting was unique. Oh, same here. I swapped it for an enormous fruit basket. Ah, that crook is gonna hear from me. Hmm. Al and Bob were obviously both victims of a talented counterfeiter. Huh? <laughs> These paintings reek of garlic. Hmm. Garlic. Interesting. Miguel, help me move my paintings over to my workshop. I'd like to take a closer look. I think these canvases are hiding something. Maurice, could you please turn off the light? <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, lamp paintings! Ha! Ah, that's it! Patricia, the garlicky smell you detected come from phosphorus, a stone which absorbs all the light. Why copy a painting and add glow-in-the-dark scribbles? No idea. We'll start this investigation in the art gallery of the so-called art dealer Hercule. Patricia, we'll need a disguise to avoid arousing suspicion. Mm -hmm. Ooh! This is divine! <laughs> My dear, welcome to Hercules, the best art dealer in the jungle. You seem like a person of good taste. Clam Go is a great artist indeed. Oh, yes. One feels such worthlessness in front of such a display of timeless art. Hmm. Oh, and this! How eccentric! Ooh. Ah, oh, yes. That's Michelangelo, an exceptional sculptor. Ooh, and as for that, what energy! What a passion! Oh, one can really feel the anger expressed by the artist. But that won't do. I'm looking for a truly exceptional piece to add to my collection. It would be a dream to have a painting by Salvador. Mm. Follow me. Here is the Melting Mangoes, the masterpiece of the master. Every true art lover must have a painting from Salvador in their collection. And do you sell paintings from Salvador often? Mm. Yes, yes, I've already sold a lot of them. Really? To whom? Ah, Odile the Beaver, Ernest the Kiwi, Raoul the Hippo. Ha! Huh, and even the Jungle Bunch have one of Salvador's pieces. Ah, I can't hear another word from that imposter. That the crook who pretends to be an art lover. Give me my piece back, you scoundrel! Uh, Salvador and the Jungle Bunch? <laughs> Please be careful, Maurizio! You nearly toppled one of Michelangelo's precious sculptures! <laughs> Maurizio! Ah, uh, oh, heck! 
he managed to escape. Hey, over here! Come and see! The painting also contains luminous symbols. It seems to be a part of a cone. We must find the other copies of the melted mangoes. Excellent! Let's go and pay a visit to the art lovers. A fake? A fake in my collection? How humiliating! Oh, no! Oh, goodness. Calm down, Mr. Raoul. It's not so bad. A fake? I cannot put up with that for another minute. I want it out of my sight. Oh, he's just a kick the copy of a masterpiece. I got it. I got it. You, you, you all right, oh, Mr. Maurice? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, I'm fine. Ow. Oh. It's okay, my friends. The painting's safe. Hello, Ernest. We heard you acquired one of Salvador's paintings. We need it to solve a riddle. Ah, yes, the smelly painting. I realized it attracted insects, so I got an idea. I decided to hang it over there so we could get a decent night's sleep. But you can take it if you want. Great. Thanks, Ernest. I'll go get it. <laughs> How humiliating! My work of art used as a fly trap! You've got to admit, it's very clever. Thanks to this painting, no more mosquitoes, no more hornets. Hmm? Hornets? Okay, then, time to go! Thanks, Ernest! At the last, uh, someone who's got a taste. Uh, you've prominently displayed my masterpiece outside of your home. I'm uh, truly flattered. Actually, that's not our house. Our house is over there. That's our toilet. Mm -hmm. Your painting glows at night, which is why we put it there. It's more convenient when we have to get up and go. Uh, you know what I mean. Uh, the toilets. Right. We'll grab the painting, then wash hands, and head back to the lair. There has to be some sort of message. I'll try to decipher it. Oh, hey! I know what to do! Oh, this one goes here, that one goes there, and this last piece... Oh, there we go! Look at that drawing. Well done, Patricia. That's a map leading up to the entrance of that cave. We're getting close, my friends. I can't believe it. We had the perfect trick. Those stupid art lovers exchanged all the food we wanted with the fake paintings. And you blew it. I told you it was a bad idea to sell two of the same paintings to the jungle bunch. Oh, come now, Blaze. No one will ever find us in this underground cave. Let's wait until things cool down. And I will start selling fake paintings again somewhere else. Yeah. Hey, you! Who told you to stop painting? Do you want us to burn the real painting? Huh? No, not the masterpiece. Hey, you vultures! Give us this painting back and let this poor chameleon go! Or experience the wrath of the great tiger warrior! Grr! Don't move, Jungle Bunch! Huh? Or your friend's painting burns! Grr! It's up to you, Junior! <laughs> oh, we got Dumpo eating bananas! Dumpy Dumpy eat! Dumpy Dumpy eat! Oh, yes, I've got a run. <laughs> Not so fast, you! That's gonna hurt tomorrow. And eating. <laughs> My masterpiece! I am missing you so much! You're free, little chameleon. Your coded message worked. Yeah. I heard my captors say one of the fakes I was forced to paint was going to the jungle bunch. So I decided to put a clue into the painting. A map leading to the cave? Yes. I got carried away by my creativity. It didn't fit on a single canvas, so I made six. Ah, talent! You are a true artist! Oh, thank you, master. I'm your greatest admirer. You are a skilled copy artist. Ah, uh, you know, Master. The gift runs in my family. Oh, darn chameleon! You're the reason why the Jungle Bunch found us! You'll pay! Take that! Oh, oh that a guy was really getting out of my nerves! <laughs> what? My master! 
masterpiece. What have I done? <laughs> At least he's got copies to make up for it. <laughs> This is the chameleon's present to thank us for saving him. Uh, so that's creativity? I'll never understand what art's all about. Ah, it's because you don't know where to look, Maurice. Mm. Oh! Wow! Coffee Mouse, do another hundred push-ups. To be strong, to dump the villains when Miguel go visit family. Don't worry, Miguel. Junior and I are here. Go and visit your family. You'll be back here in no time. <laughs> Miguel back in few days. Bye, everyone. Coffee Mouse, do push-ups just in case. Like banana? Banana good. But now to taste stuffed bananas. Stuffed huh? banana, better banana. Huh? Because stuffed banana huh? stuffed with banana oh. is best banana. One stuffed banana. <laughs> twice the amount of banana means twice as good for you. Thank you, madame. Hey, hey those are ours. Huh? Come on, give it to me. But you just took my stuffed banana. Get out of the way. Look here, Gorilla. We love your stuffed bananas. We want your recipe and your banana stand. So you want my stuffed bananas? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go. <laughs> You're not smart in your head. Now you two leave and do not bother me anymore. If no, my husband to come and kick your butt. <gasps> huh? <laughs> you talking about that guy? That lazy lump of lard? Exactly. He great soccer champion. <laughs> That was before he spent his time stuffing himself with bananas. But if you think your husband can still dribble up the field, then why don't we bet your place on a soccer game? Uh -huh. No, Mommy, don't do it. Oh, she isn't going to do it. Let's do it! <laughs> Catastrophe. Okay, rendezvous tomorrow in the field. If you win, we'll never bother you again. If you lose, your stand is ours. Let's go. So long, gorillas. <laughs> Hello, family. Miguel to pay a visit. Hi, Miguel. You're not happy to see Miguel? We're really happy to see you, Miguel. We just have a big problem. Come on, we'll tell you. And that's the whole story. If Daddy doesn't win the match, Mom will lose her banana stand. Miguel solved the problem. Miguel thumped the bad mandrills. Not a good idea. Nasty mandrels will want to thump you back. Right, so Miguel go and get Jungle Bunch friends. No, son. It is Daddy Manny to defend family. Daddy Manny to win the match. No offense, Daddy. But if you go on the field, we may confuse your big belly with the ball. <sighs> Manny not big. Manny always to eat healthy. Only bananas. Bananas are for champion. Yeah, maybe bananas are healthy, but 50 bananas a day is a bit much. Oh, Paquita always criticize. No, Paquita not always criticize. Paquita tried to talk like I talk. That very rude. I can talk like whoever I want. Paquita talk like Paquita talk, not like her daddy. I talk like daddy. I talk like daddy. I talk like daddy. I can talk just like my daddy. Stop! Daddy, little sister, stop fighting. We family. We win together. We train hard and get fit. No more mean bandras. That way, Daddy and Miguel win match. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. Uh-uh. Daddy Manny have to go on diet to get fit for game. Uh, the diet of bananas? No. Oh. Come on, Manny. If you want banana, you keep going. Daddy, you just need to use your head. If you calculate the trajectory of the ball and use rebounds, you will score every time. All uh, right. <laughs> mommy, tomorrow Daddy and me to win the match. <sighs> Why mommy so sad? If Manny not ready for match, he no can win. Me to lose my banana stand. Everything my fault. Daddy knows everything depends on him. He promised to protect our family. He won't let us down. Trust him, Mom. No bananas anymore. Training! Hmm? No. No. 
bad banana. Soccer match is about to begin. Give it up for the Mandrills versus the Gorillas. Daddy, Daddy, where is your dad? <laughs> Looks like your former champion is chickened out. I'm right over here. <laughs> The first team to score two goals wins the entire match. And now, the kickoff! <laughs> Miguel, pass! scored and lead by one big goal. Before continuing, let's hear from our sponsor. Scratchy Scratchy, with Scratchy say goodbye to Sticky. You, Scratchy, and washing the dishes will be easy peasy. So watch, I'll demonstrate with the sea urchin scratcher. It's Scratchy, so Scratchy. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, he trained. And they put him on a diet. Hmm. But I have an idea to get him back to being the big guy that he was before. Banana! 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 The second half is about to begin. Miguel and Daddy will win the game. Banana! 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 Mommy! No! Daddy can play? Oh, I'm fine. No! Goal! The mandrels are catching up! What suspense? Let's go to commercial one more time before the game is over. Thanks to my new unlimited parrot contract, I can send and receive messages from all over the jungle. I can send and receive messages from all over the jungle. All this for only three peanuts a day. Only three peanuts a day. Seriously, are you messing with me? Who? Me? Manny, sorry. Manny promised to defend family. <laughs> Manny, lose! Nasty mandrels to win and take my banana stand. I can help you win. If you let me play with Miguel, we will win your match. You're not strong enough, Paquita. She's not strong, but she's smart. With Jungle Bunch, Miguel learned no muscles to win if you're smart. We big family. We win together. Finally, the family listens to me. We are in the final minutes of the game, and a gorilla substitute is entering the field. Will she be up to the job opposite the fierce mandrills? Things are certainly heating up. You're too weak to stop us. <laughs> Perquita, make pass to Miguel! Okay. Catch it, big brother! <laughs> Are the 
champions of the soccer match! We won! We won! We won! We won! <laughs> hey, gorillas! We'll get our revenge and those stuffed bananas will be ours! Uh, what is it? Uh, it stinks! Get Are it you off. okay, boss? Anyone seen my scratcher? So that villain mandrels do not come bother us again, Marina will share her recipe of stuffed bananas with all the jungle. Good idea, Mommy. Thank you, Miguel. You remind us that a family united wins. Miguel, come back real soon. Bye-bye, family. Bye. Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Hello, everyone. Today we're in Marina's kitchen. She's going to share her secret recipe for her famous stuffed bananas. The first thing you do, open banana. Mm -hmm. oh. Stuff banana. Ah, yes. Flash banana. Oh, that's incredible. Now glaze banana. Ooh. Banana ready! Well, that's it for today, everyone. Bon appetit! And we're looking forward to another recipe from Marina. You'll see, son. This is going to be amazing. I've never seen anything like it. So, is everything set, my friends? <laughs> of course it is. Gilbert said that the meteorite would be spectacular. Yep, so we don't want to miss out on the spectacular show. Miguel, ready now. Miguel, want to see Gilbert's meteorite. I'm here. Did I miss anything? Meteorite not got here yet. Hey, Al, where are your friends? As a matter of fact, here they come now. Hi, Paul. Hi, Malo. Hi, Hi, everybody. So, guys, you good? <laughs> Sorry, my friends, but duty calls. Let's go and fix this quickly so we don't miss the show. The Jungle Bunch? To, to the rescue! Good mission! Open. Hello there, Ernest. What brings you to these parts? <laughs> it's awful! A meteorite is going to hit us in less than three hours and destroy the entire jungle! <laughs> Don't worry, Ernest. Gilbert has studied it and calculated everything and has concluded that it will just graze us. No need to worry. Why don't you join us while we enjoy the show? Well, here's the thing. I was really in the mood for some hot, hot chocolate because, well, hot chocolate is best when it's hot, hot. So I invented a machine that roasts the cacao beans and brews the hot, hot chocolate. And if you're in the mood, I can even whip up a creamy... Okay, that's coffee. interesting, but what exactly does it have to do with the meteorite? Well, um, it kind of overheated. And with the pressure, a part of my machine went flying out into space! It hit the meteorite and kind of changed its course. So that means the meteorite will hit us and obliterate the entire jungle. My calculations tell me it should land exactly right here. Ah, uh, uh, well... Gilbert, what's the plan? Gilbert? But, Maurice, don't you remember that Gilbert left early this morning to observe the meteorite with his telescope? Ah, yes, that's true. Well, the good news is that we have an inventor among us. Ernest, do you have a plan? Tell us what's the plan, Dr. Chicken. Mm -hmm. Well, first off, we create a countdown mechanism. We have to know exactly how much time we have left, or we won't know what day it is and all is lost. <laughs> It's finally done! When the needle gets here, the jungle will be totally destroyed. Well, it's not all bad. We do have a lot of time left. Am I right, Ernest? Oh, my goodness. Thanks, Maurice. I almost forgot to adjust the settings. <gasps> Ernest, do you have an idea of how to divert the path of the meteorite? Mm, no. Yeah, what? Don't worry, I have another idea to send the meteorite back into space. Bonsai! Oh. Ta-da! With this mega deflector, we'll be able to shoot the meteorite back into space. <laughs> How's that for a genius idea, hmm? Uh, and tell us, exactly how does your mega thing work, Ernest? Hmm, a demonstration. Imagine that this is our meteorite. And this thing is an exact replica of the Mega Deflector at a scale of 160. Pretty smart, don't you think? Okay, Jungle Bunch, here we go. Put some effort into it. Heave ho! Heave ho! Put some 
push with your legs. Heave ho! A little higher. Heave ho! Oh, what a drag. I never thought about the weight. Huh? How's that even possible? My calculations can't be wrong. Don't panic, my friends. I'm sure Ernest will find a solution. Hmm. Don't you guys want to try a hot chocolate first? Yeah, I don't know about you, but a hot, hot chocolate always helps me think. Okay, a solution. If we try with the mega flutterizer, no. We'd have to divert a river and there's no time. The mega vacuumizer? Maybe making hot chocolate isn't a bad idea. Huh? Why not? If Ernest created this disaster the first time he used his machine, maybe the second time we'll have the same result. The machine will explode again and push the meteorite back on course. Isn't that plan just a little too risky? Well, we have no other choice, do we? Hmm. The mega mixer! No, 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 that messes my hair and I don't like that. Ernest? The Mega Turbinizer! No, that would blow up the cave. Hey there, Ernest. Dr. Chicken? Yes, what? You know what I would love? A hot chocolate. What beautiful weather for a walk. Yeah, no clouds. Well, except for that huge one coming by. Uh, Ernest, when's your machine supposed to explode? What do you mean, explode? You know, explode. Oh, no, Maurice. <laughs> Don't worry. I fixed the machine. It can't explode. Anyone want a second cup? <gasps> well, if it can't explode, I have to go look for Gilbert. I'll be back. Ernest, what does this drawing over here mean? Is it gonna rain? Yes, yes, it's going to rain. I'll explain. When the meteorite reaches its maximum speed, its surface breaks up, causing a powerful shower of mini meteorites to rain down. Ah! ah my hot chocolate! <laughs> Mr. Maurice, Miguel not like meteor shower. Why is everyone so scared? The meteorite shower, Ernest. No, oh, don't worry, Maurice. I calculated it ten times. They won't fall on us. It's all in the mathematics. What a relief. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, I think the hot chocolate had an effect. Eureka! Let's go back to the lair. Okay, Ernest. We trust you. Uh, my calculations are good. I keep redoing the math, and it comes up the same. But... Huh? But... But that's not what my eyes are telling me. Hmm? Ah! The meteorite's trajectory. It's headed for the jungle. Oh my, this is bad. Let's get out of here. Ta da! I give you the mega propulsor. This clever machine will shoot a projectile directly onto the asteroid and veer it off course. Smart, huh? According to my calculations, we have to tilt the machine 42.5 degrees. Here we are now. Tighten the springs, Miguel. Watch out. I'm warning you, this might be scary. Three, two, one. Fire! Hmm? I don't get it. In my head, it worked perfectly. Probably just in your head. Gilbert? It can't work. The projectile is too heavy, and the spring isn't strong enough. I guess I must have miscalculated my mathematics. Instead of bickering, work together for once. Your two brains should set off a few sparks. Sparks! That's it. Of course, we could just blow up the meteorite. Oh, not another of your crazy ideas. Actually, it's a good crazy idea. We need to send up a projectile with explosives in the middle of it. Wow. Ernest, allow me to introduce you to my drill. Oh, that's what I call a projectile. We only need a bigger spring. Then it'll work for sure. Ah! Ah! Perfect. Now we just need to tighten the spring. <laughs> I don't know if I already mentioned this, but this could get scary. Three, two, one, fire! 
<laughs> Dr. Chicken and Gilbert, great scientists! Mission accomplished! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, please tell me that someone remembered to light the fuse. But you were supposed to light it! Nonsense! You were supposed to do it! No, it was you! No, it was you! No, you! No, you! Okay, I know what to do. Arm the spring. What will you do once you've lit the fuse? You're gonna crash back down on the ground! I'm counting on you to figure out a way to save me, my friends. Fire! Was easy. You see that, Maurice? My inventions do work. Well, anyway, you should thank Paul and Malo. Yes, thanks, guys. Okay, let's all relax and enjoy the show. Whoa! I know, I know, a rabbit. Well done, Patricia. Your turn. A crab. It's a crab. My turn. Smuck, smuck. Chicken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Miguel correct. Miguel next. Mm -hmm. ah, it's too easy. I got it. Ooh, ah! It was a rhino. That's right. It's your turn, Gilbert. Gilbert, come on, don't be shy. Don't hide. I'm not hiding, Patricia. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> Duty calls, my friends. Your rock is very convincing. But it wasn't a rock. It was a turtle. Ah, the jungle bunch. <laughs> to the rescue! Good mission! Open. Great Tiger Warrior, hurry! My Uncle Otis is at the bottom of the sea! What? Would you mind explaining? Well, he needed this thing to make a different thing out of another thing, so he put a big jar on his head and he hung strange-looking bottles on his back, and then he dove right in. Hmm. Sounds like he made a device that enabled him to dive. Where did he dive in? At the beach. I went along with him. He said he was going to the Abyss Conch, and when he didn't come back, I came to get you guys. And what is that thing? This is to measure the amount of oxygen still left. There isn't a lot. There's no time to waste. Gilbert, gather our supplies. Let's go to the Abyss Conch. Thank you, Jungle Punch. Oxygen filled gourds? Check. Phosphorus lamps? Check. Hourglass? Check. Perfect. This is where Uncle Ernest dove in. The abyss conch is just underneath. We'll wait for you here. Good luck. Good mission, Grumpy Mouse and Little Tiger. Good luck, Junior. Good luck, Gilbert. Who knows what awaits you in the deep water? aren't used to seeing bright light. Junior, did 
Do not touch that shell. If you get too close, you'll be trapped. There's nothing to fear from underwater species if we don't bother them. Most of them are afraid of the light. Yes, except the electric eels. They can be very dangerous. Right, we just have to keep calm. Maybe they're not electric eels. Well, they're electric eels after all. There's only one sensible thing left for us to do. Run! the shells! It will slow them down! haven't come back yet? Don't worry. Junior has no problem staying underwater. Phew! <sighs> the eels won't find us in here, but it looks like we're gonna have to find another way out, Junior. Let's go! But let's hurry. There isn't much oxygen left for Ernest. A giant octopus. Ah! We woke him up from his nap. He is angry. Let's go! He has me, Junior! He won't let go! It's probably best you don't do that, Junior! There's no choice. Cut the oxygen cord. Don't worry. There's still one oxygen guard left. It should be enough to get us back to the surface. Okay, this time he's really angry for sure! <laughs> Octopus is caught for the moment, and the electric eels left. Let's head for the abyss conch, Junior. Put it in turbot. <laughs> Get it? Turbot? Uh, turbot is also a fish, you know. Wait for me, Junior! Uh, a gnu? No. Uh, a mushroom? No. Uh, a slug? No. A slug with paws? No. We go give you clue. <laughs> That's it! It looks like we found Ernest, Junior! Oh, uh, hey there, my friends! Am I glad to see you! You see, my foot is stuck in this seashell, and I can't get it out. Plus, I don't have much oxygen left either, so I'm in a bit of a bind. No way to open it! Oh no! He found us! Junior, tell him we're sorry to have wakened him from his nap and for sending him shooting up in an air gourd too! Never mind, no need to translate, I got it! He's really angry at us. Don't yell so loud, Ernest. You're wasting the oxygen you have left. Uh, that's difficult to do. Uh. He's 
got us! Oh, we're finished! We won't have any oxygen left! Yes! Oxygen! Listen, Ernest, hold your breath. The only solution we have is to go up. Time to sacrifice our air guards. Junior, help me! A hippocrocomus, half hippopotamus, half crocodile, and other half hippopotamus. Too, son. So, Ernest, what were you doing at the sea bottom? I needed the beads for my greatest invention, my masterpiece. Follow me to the village. I'll give you a demonstration. You'll see, it's revolutionary. I'm going to explain. I got the idea for a ball game. To play, you just need to throw the big ball close to the little red ball. Oh, great. Another one of your super useful inventions. Don't tell me we risked our lives for that. Stop grumbling, Gilbert. It's a lot of fun. We got turn, we got turn. Ah! Oops. <laughs> Perfect. Now I can make a relaxing potion for my little naps. That one will be for my shiny coat. Oh, such remarkable specimens today in the jungle. Uh, a la pista nuda in the jungle. That's incredible. Usually they only grow in caves. It's a major scientific discovery. <laughs> I feel like my theory on climate change will take a big leap forward. <laughs> I'm worried. Gilbert's been gone for a while. Did he say anything when he left? Yes, he told me that I snore too loud. He told me the same. He also told me I make too much noise when I eat. Color me jealous. Don't worry, Patricia. He's probably in his laboratory. Ah, rest time is over. Time to get to work. The jungle bun to the rescue! Uh, shouldn't we wait for Gilbert? Oh, I'm sure he's already down there. Good mission. Open. Uh, anyone here? Surprise! It's me, Queen of the Jungle. Queen of nothing at all. The Jungle Bunch will always stop you, Melina. The Jungle Bunch, take positions. Except that this time it may be a little different. Come, Gilbert, don't be shy. Oh, sorry, my friends. I was just looking for mushrooms. Yes, Gilby is my hostage. He works for me from now on. Stop being ridiculous. Gilbert would never work for you. Oh, yes, he will. Look, when I ask these sinus-infected lynx to sneeze on Gilbert, he becomes immediately very cooperative. <laughs> Tell your friends how happy you are to work for me, Gilby. <laughs> yes, I'm happy. I'm happy, please! You know the secret for the super-explosive powder I need for my rockets. And you'll prepare it for me, won't you? Yes, okay, but not the sneeze. Get a tissue! Melina knows all of his weaknesses. Gilbert will do anything to avoid microbes. Well, we have to do something. Miguel, time for the Flying Samurai. <laughs> Uh-oh. Thanks, Miguel. 
That was close. <laughs> Gilbert Super Rockets will make me totally invincible! <laughs> Listen up. I've got an idea. I'll pretend to work for her to gain her trust. And as soon as I can, I'll free Gilbert. Right. That's an excellent plan. Okay, time to mm. act the part. Melina is right. We can't feed her. It's time to do what she says. No, the Jungle Bunch won't give in to blackmail. But Melina is the strongest one, and I will only work with Withers. Wow, she plays the part well. Ooh. You're not really going to help her with this evil plan. Oh, yes, I am. What? At last, someone with a brain. Now that you're working with me, think you could do me a small favor. Yes, of course, future queen. What is it you would like me to do? Oh, nothing big. Just capture the jungle bunch and hold them until they change their minds. But, uh... But what? Is there a problem? Um, no, no, not at all. I'll get right to it. Okay, I have to throw these coconuts at you. Pretend to be knocked out. <laughs> Listen up, everyone. <laughs> this is Patricia. She is one of us now. You must obey her as if it was me. Okay, get the Tarsier. He has rockets to prepare. Patricia! Traitor! I won't let you sit in my branch anymore! I am honored to work for someone as brilliant and ambitious as you. That's very kind and true. And that tiger was too smart for his own stripes. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Maurice, they talk about you. <laughs> Come with me. I'm going to show you my top secret setup. You'll see it's fabulous. Yes, our spy is in place. She plays the traitor act pretty well, don't you think? <laughs> Miguel, scratch your smart stripes. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is where dear old Gilby is making the super explosive rockets, which I'm going to use to conquer the entire jungle. No! You're already threatening me and forcing me to do work against my will. But that's it. You're a disgrace and a traitor. <clears throat> oh, and besides, you make fun of my tics. Our darling Gilbert doesn't accept you're with us now. I'll watch the Jungle Bunch. Maybe I could change their minds and make them work for you. I can be very persuasive. That's a great idea. Okay, I know where Gilbert is being held, but they're watching him closely. I'm gonna need your help. Yes, but first we have to get out of this cage. And how do we do that without attracting attention? The fortress is full of guards. I'm on it. Hey, you! Hmm? Move these crates over to the lab. Melina's orders. Relax. We haven't finished our card game yet. Are you defying the boss's orders? I've heard she can be tough on those who don't obey. They say she uses them as bait when fishing for crocodiles. Huh? Well, well, it's just that we're supposed to guard these new prisoners we got, and... Well, then make them push the crates. They look pretty strong. That's always better than fishing for crocodiles, right? Well, if you put it that way, you get to work! Move these crates! What? Maurice? Miguel? You're also on Melina's side? Traitors! You're all traitors! Well, not me! Never! I'm one of the jungle bunch! And I am the jungle bunch! Gilbert, right shh! Always! <laughs> yeah! I will fight! No, 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 no! I don't want to listen to you! I don't know you! You villain! Former friend! You liar! Calm down, Gilbert. Patricia is still with us. We've come to save you! Huh? Save me? <laughs> yes, of course! I knew it! I was just pretending. You knew that, right? What's all this noise? The Jungle Bunch? Oh, I see, Patricia. You convinced them to work for me. What? Patricia, you betrayed me. Oh, I knew it all along, but I was just pretending. Ah, you knew nothing. Patricia's performance was very convincing. Even I fell for it. But, but not for long. Oh, no, no, no. Not very long at all. Yes, I knew it. I just wanted to get you all in this cave to get rid of you once and for all. You're such a liar. You're making it up as you go along. Maybe yes, maybe not. Ah, oh, she's so annoying. <laughs> guards, guards! We must find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> hmm. 
It's time to clean up. <laughs> Actually, it's clean enough. <laughs> oh well, nothing left to lose. Molina won't take advantage of my rockets. Did you see how they took off running? What do we do now, Gilbert? We run! Everything is going to explode. Hurry, follow me! again. But I'm not finished with you yet, Jungle Bunch. I'll come up with another genius plan. I'll build a carnivorous plant Oh, oops, sorry. Oh, what a pity. Thank you all so much for rescuing me. So in the future, I promise I won't ever complain again when you make a noise. <laughs> so then we can shout. <laughs> You see, like I said, this is the best spot in the pond. And after eating, what do we do? We, uh, we eat again. Huh? Look over there. Bob, you're a genius. Oh, wow, these berries look so juicy. <laughs> you look like you're covered in pimples. Oh, yeah? yeah. Takes one to know one. <laughs> hmm. Hold on, Bob. I have an idea. Okay, the climbing snails go next to the starfish, and the vials go next to the collection of plants. curious to know what you're up to. Patricia, I told you before, I cannot be disturbed when I'm organizing my lab. I'm so sorry, Gilbert. I simply forgot. Oh, this one is very pretty. Should I put it back? In its spot? Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, Gilbert, you really are a wonderful organizer. It's all about order, Patricia. With order, you can handle anything unexpected. And I am very well organized. Let's just bite up spiasma. No! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Gilbert, they're fake. <laughs> Told you would be scared to death. <laughs> if you could see your face. Mm. Okay, my friends, we've had enough with the jokes. Duty calls the Jungle Bunch. <laughs> to the rescue! Open. Hello, sweet. 
sweetie. Tell us, what brings you here? I need your help. My name is Rita. My whole family fell into the bottom as well, in the Shadow Forest. I'm scared I'll never see them again. Oh, oh sweetheart, don't cry, cutie. We'll find them. Mr. Maurice, can Miguel thump the horrible bottomless well? Of course, Miguel. You can thump as much as you want. Okay, let's go, everyone. We have a family to rescue. But I just walked five hours. I'm so exhausted. Oh, no, you poor little girl. I have swollen feet. It hurts here and here. I can't walk. Could I possibly rest here for a little while? Pretty please. No problem, Rita. Just make yourself at home. But no playing, no talking loud. Don't go anywhere and don't touch anything. Maurice, we can't just leave her here by herself. Hmm, you're right, Patricia. But I've got an idea. Of course you can count on us. We'll take great care of the little one, won't we, Bob? Mm -hmm. No one's more responsible than we are. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, everyone, not a moment to lose. We're off to the Shadow Forest. Now, that's quite a hike. It'll take us five hours. This little girl is adorable. Yes, and sweet like fly lava. Well, we're not going to sit here and watch her sleep all day. Aren't you hungry? <laughs> Open. <laughs> It's okay, guys. You can come out now. Those dweebs totally fell for it. We have ten hours to have fun in the jungle box lair. Quick on, you're a genius. Ah. This is the life, huh, Bob? <laughs> oh, the best. Who knew babysitting could be so easy? <laughs> Yes, I think the little one might be awake. Are you doing okay, Rita? We think we heard a... <laughs> what has happened? Oh, no. Where's Rita? Rita? Rita! <laughs> Here she is. Rita! Return! Rita! Return! Rita! Return! We're gonna die! I think we've been punked, Bob. Uh, we have to do something. We have to protect the lair when the bunch is away, right? You're right. I've got this. I'm an excellent negotiator. Everyone, that's enough. You're through. This isn't your home. I'll let it slide this time, but you have to put everything back the way you found it. <laughs> they asked for it, Bob. Time to get serious. You have unleashed mm -hmm. the fury of the dragons! <laughs> Tadpole, you're going to do as we say. Otherwise, forget about it. Say goodbye to your little friend. <laughs> and the mango papaya juice with a twist of lemon? Who's it for? <laughs> this is paradise. Don't stop. Hurry up! I want my massage right now! <laughs> Well, I can make you a puree of gnats or a spider salad. That's disgusting! <laughs> or, how about those tasty berries? You know, the ones so juicy. Mm -hmm. Five hours of walking for nothing. Not a single hamster in need. That's okay, Gilbert. Little Rita will be relieved to know they made it out of the well safely. Five hours to get there, and five hours to get back to the lair. Rita had better be happy, I tell you that! <laughs> 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 
Why Grumpy Mouse always grumpy? Well, we had a nice walk, even if it has been quite a hike. Here you are, some juicy berries. But, and what happened? What are those pimples? Huh? Uh, oh, no. I can't believe it. I must have caught the seripulus. It's extremely contagious. I got touched! I got touched! This is a terrible disease that eats your nose first, and then eyes and brains. <laughs> oh, look. Bob is contaminated, too. What? I am too young to have my brain destroyed by a terrible disease. I have so much destroying still to do. <laughs> Wait a sec. I remember. There is an antidote. Yeah. Tell me, what is it? We need spit from the South Sea grouper. I think Gilbert has some in his lab. <laughs> Here it is. We're saved. This is the only vial. If you don't do what I say, I'll drop it. <laughs> so, first you free my friend, and second, you clean everything and put this place back how you found it. Say, Bob, what do you think? Did they do a good job? Yep. I think they deserve the antidote. Here, Bob, you do the honors. Uh, oops. This is just terrible. What are we going to do now? Well, I remember, there is one other solution to save you. All you have to do is go pick a very, very rare flower that only grows... At the very bottom of the great bottomless well in the Shadow Forest. All the way at the bottom. And if I were you, I'd get moving right away. It will take you at least five hours to get there. Well, it looks like Rita and her family have been reunited. Good! Let's hurry. I have my carnivorous plants waiting for me back in the lair. We rocked it. They'll never suspect a thing. Hey, guys. Huh? We're back. Huh? Oh, no, the vial. So, everything went well with Rito, right? Oh, yes, everything went great. Easy peasy, ain't that right, Bob? Yep, we just handed her off to her parents. We told you no one is more responsible. That's great. Now we know who to call when we need a babysitter. <clears throat> uh, I knew it. Somebody's been in my lab. My vial of bee huh? venom is gone. Huh? Uh, uh, bee venom, tell me, Gilbert, it's harmless if you just touch it quickly, right? Oh, no. Ooh. It'll get your pimples, <laughs> fever, <laughs> and colic. <laughs> Should we ask for the antidote? Uh, <laughs> who left my lab in such a terrible mess? Actually, these spots aren't too bad. One, two, three, freeze. <laughs> you lost, Al. Your turn to count. Huh? Not even. I didn't move at all. My tongue did. Ah, look, Maurice. Bob is also moving. Uh, I'm not. I'm just breathing, that's all. Technically, breathing is moving. Oh, Gilbert. Instead of grumbling alone on your branch, why not come and play? Uh, playing is for kids. Grown-ups prefer to spend the quality time thinking. <laughs> Well, we'll have to end our game early. Duty calls, my friends. The Jungle Bunch! To the rescue! Good mission! Open. Ah, hello, my friends. Tell me, what this is outrageous? They're cheating! What do they take us for? Cheaters! Whoa! Now, tell me what brings you to this part of the world. All our fruit was stolen when we played the large wheel! Wait, the large wheel? What are you talking about? Haven't you heard about it? The otters invented it. Those thieves. They're cheating! Cheaters! 
The rules are simple. You bet fruit on a color of your choice. When you're done, one of the otters turns the wheel. If you're lucky, the wheel stops on the color you've chosen and you win a piece of fruit. The only problem is no one ever wins and the otters just keep taking all of our fruit. Statistically, the otters have to lose once in a while. They have to be cheating. Cheaters! <laughs> Help us, please. We've nothing left to eat for winter. All right, let's visit those cheaters. Cheaters! And sort this out. Let's go, my friends. <laughs> Huh? The Jungle Bunch. What an honor. <laughs> uh, have you come to try your luck? You'll see. This game is very easy. Uh, hey! Uh, forgive him. He's not too clever, but he's strong. And where is he going? He's putting the fruit we won safely away in our den. Here, the first banana's free. Are you feeling lucky? Why don't you give the game a try? You'll see for yourself that it's all on the up and up. Well, Junior, Patricia, keep an eye on the wheel. I'll keep an eye on the big guy. Sorry, sorry. I have to pee. Start without me. Wait! Let me do it, Miguel. Let me do it! The marabou chose the blue, the yellow for the marmoset, and the jungle bunch are trying their luck mm. with the white. I repeat, the white. Who will win? Suspense! I won! I thought playing was for children. No, you missed the point. That game requires reflection. And there you are. Bet a banana, win a banana. That's a lot of protection for a simple den. Hmm. You can't be here. Private property. Got it. I'm the Tarsier place again. The bet's on the pink this time. I repeat, the pink! I won! 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 You can still win more bananas. Come on, come on. Place your fruits on the right color. The marabou chose the yellow, the blue for the marble. So? Their den is like a fort, but apart from that, I didn't see anything out of the ordinary. And you? Notice anything unusual? Nothing to report, either. The otters don't win all the time. Fine. Our job is done. We'll tell those unlucky animals the news. We'll give them enough food to hold them a little while. Miguel, Gilbert, let's go. What? Already? Oh, no! <laughs> and a fond goodbye to the jungle bunch. Oh, Miguel, I forgot. The otters gave me one more banana. I have to give it back. Why could Big Mouse not give banana to Miguel? Uh, no, Miguel. There are bananas for playing and bananas for eating. Anyway, I'll be back soon. <laughs> It'll be such a shame to stop while I'm on a roll. <laughs> yes, of course. If our clients are happy, then we're happy. <laughs> he is pushy, but I think I know how we can get rid of him. Will the Tarsier be today's you big winner? <laughs> You lose. Huh? Huh? What? Oh, it's huh? such a pity. You lost everything uh. and have nothing left to bet. But wait, for great players like you, we have something very special. What is it? What is it? It's called the everything at once. If you win, you'll have enough bananas to play for a very long time. That's what you want, isn't it? Yes, I do. I want to play again and again and again and again. Of course you do. Look, it's easy. We just need your signature right here. Fine, here? Perfect. The Tarsier has bet the Jungle Bunch layer on the green! I repeat, the green! Where will it stop? <laughs> yes! I win! <laughs> he looked me right in the eye and said, Gilbert, where were you? Well, I went back to the otters, 
and I lost everything! No need to get into such a state over some fruit, Gilbert. It wasn't just about some fruit. I've lost the Jungle Punch's lair! Huh? Hmm? You lost what? I lost our lair, but it's not my fault. The wheel stopped on the right color. I won, then it started again. Pfft, just like that! What do you mean, pfft, just like that? Pfft, just like that! But, actually, it's not normal. The wheel can't move by itself. Those animals are right. They're cheating! Cheaters! <laughs> now listen, Gilby, this isn't your fault. You were just set up. It could happen to anyone. Uh, anyone? It's not possible. Not me, not me. I'm ashamed. Shame on me. Uh, we're going to have to do it without him. Let's start by checking out their den. You said the otters lived in a real fort. Yes, that's right. That's what's so sneaky about it. There must be something those otters want to hide. Alan, Bob, we're going to need you. At your service. You who? Can anyone come and help us? We want to store one bag of fruit while we bet with the other. You do have a safe, don't you? Yes, of course. The safest one ever. Put his bags in the safe. Hmm. Password? The bananas are in the ferns. Okay, you can go. The signal. Huh? <sighs> Bob, what is with you stealing other people's fruit? Give the gentleman his mango back. You're wrong. This mango's mine. Give me the mango. <laughs> 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 Hey! Uh, uh, quick, security! Security! We need you here! Security! Security! Hello, hello? Anyone there? Password. Bananas are zucchini. That's not it. Huh? Um, bananas are extremely light. That's not it either. Hmm. Miguel love bananas. Nope, Ooh. that's not it either. Yes, Miguel of Bananas! I said no! Mm. Okay, it's your turn, Junior. All right, uh -huh. you can come in. <laughs> the game has resumed. The Marabou placed fruit on purple. I repeat, purple! Purple, purple. Well, I'm saying white, so this! <laughs> oh, so that's their method of cheating. Let's go, my friends. White? Or let's try yellow or purple. Oh, look at that. Oh, my, it's so hard to choose. <laughs> well, now that the animals got their fruit back and we got our lair, we'll decide what we're going to do about you, Miguel. <laughs> Red! That means they have to eat fly larvae dishes prepared by Alan Bob for a week, right? Uh -huh. Yes, that's not a punishment. Our food is extremely superb. No, that's for blue. With red, they were supposed to take a month of mathematics lessons from Gilbert, I believe. I thought they're supposed to fight with piranhas. Yes, you're right, Patricia. Piranhas and crocodiles. No, 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 no. That's not it. They were going to pick fruit and give it to all the animals that need it for the winter. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I agree. Okay, okay. Uh, we picked yeah. the fruits, yeah. Yes, but not pick banana. Otherwise, Miguel, don't. Uh -huh. 